January is going to be filled with Kairos, aligned alignment. All right, the Lord is aligning you in this month of January, which means that there's Kairos activity. There is Kairos movement, all right, like a chiropractor that adjusts your spine and your vertebrae. The Lord is aligning your relationships this month. He's aligning your friendships. He's aligning your finances. Come on, things are coming into alignment for your favor. Happy Sunday. It is the last Sunday of 2019. Okay, praise God. We made it. Someone say, I made it. Okay. Last night we had an incredible, tremendous service in Orange County. Uh, it was just so powerful. Uh, the words of knowledge were flowing, were so on point and accurate. Who here knows that God wants us to not just prophesy, but to prophesy with accuracy? Because your accuracy is also your authority, okay? Your accuracy is your authority. If you're always missing it, that means that you have not gained an authority in that realm yet. But if you are accurate, that means the Lord is entrusting you even more um, to have authority over the common people, over the common good. And I want to pray today that the Lord will give you accuracy and authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Because a prophet and a man and woman of God is known not only by their character, which is the fruits of the Spirit, patience, love, kindness, peace, joy, but a prophet and a prophetic minister, man, woman of God, is also known by the fruit of accuracy, by how many times they make it. They make the mark. And I'm believing today, as you're entering into 2020, you're not coming into 1920, 1820, 1720, 1620. You are coming into fullness. Someone say fullness. You're coming into full clarity. You're coming into full vision, precision, sharpness, and accuracy where you will not miss it, but you will be on point in Jesus' name. I decree right now, accuracy is authority, and the Lord is growing your authority as a prophetic signpost, as a lampstand to this generation. Amen? So I'm saying, I receive it. Come on, Shabbat, I receive new vision. I receive new clarity. Fire, 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 bang, bang, bang. Amen. And tonight, also at His Real Life, our home church in L.A., we have a New Year's Eve Sunday service. I'm really excited. It's going to be awesome. I hope to see you there, okay? we got Amanda Earhart and her incredible band playing. So I want to share this word that I have for you for this month of January, all right? Okay, it's going to be January in literally two days. Praise God, all right? I want to say to you, all my friends and family, Happy New Year's. We made it. We're crossing over. Come on. We're crossing over. Happy New Year's. Shave baby, we made it, we did it, the Lord is good, and I want to share with you uh, some uh, prophetic perspectives and insight that's going to help you and guide you and gauge you to what to expect, okay, here's the thing about prophets, all right, when, when people of God begin to prophesy, it, there, you can put your money into it. You can be confident into it. You can confide in it. You can bank on it. Come on. You can take that to the bank. All right. You can put your trust in the Lord and the word of the Lord and in the word of his prophets. You can put it in the bank. Put it in the bank. Put it in the bank. Okay. And if it doesn't come to pass, then you have to ask yourself, was that a false word? Or... Did I not partner with the word correctly? Did I not hear the word correctly? Was it a false word from a false uh, moment? Not necessarily that they're a false prophet. Or was it a false word? Or did I not correctly align myself to that word? And most times, prophetic words are not absolute, but they're conditional. They're not unconditional, but they're conditional. Okay, which means that it's conditional. It's based on 
what you do with the word. So what are you doing with the word? What are you doing with the impartation? What are you doing? Okay. God will release the word and will release breakthrough and power and many times an impartation. But what are you going to do with the seed? Like Jesus said with the parable, the sower sows seeds. But what are you going to do with the seed? It's up to you. You hear me? So uh, I want to give you this prophetic pr uh, perspective and insight for the month of January. I believe it's going to bless you. Okay, and I want you to give us some hearts and thumbs, likes, if you have been blessed by our prophetic monthly words, okay? By our prophetic our monthly words for the month of, uh, for the month of each month, okay? And, uh, you know, I am so expectant. All right, the Bible says, uh, you know, to uh, come before the Lord with expectancy. Come before the Lord because He is good. And if He says a thing, it will come to pass. If He says a thing, it will not return in void. Amen. So, Happy New Year. Uh, I want to be the f uh, first to say to you, Happy New Year. And praise God. Shabbat Amanda for uh, this new month that you're entering to. So in the month of January, and uh, I want to get, I want you to give us some likes, some hearts, and do share, share, share. Please do share on all your groups, share on your page, because uh, I'm just gonna zoom right through it. Okay. Uh, uh, January, uh, actually today, some say today. Today it is the we've entered into the new Hebrew month of Tevet. T e v e t. T-E-V-E-T, -E -E okay? We just entered into the new Hebrew month of Tevet, okay? Today is the beginning of the Hebrew month Tevet, T-E-V-E-T, -E -E Tevet, okay? And of course, you know that for myself, I like to go into the Hebraic calendar and, and bring the Hebraic, biblical, Jewish perspective into the now, into the Greek uh, the Gregorian calendar that we in America and the Western world, most of the world follow through. So right now we just entered into the month of Tevet. And the root, uh, uh, the root word of Tevet is Tov. Someone say Tov, okay? Uh, I saw Tadius Carter here. Uh, and of course you and myself, we came from Dr. Michelle Corral, who is high, very high level in you know rabbinical Jewish studies but tov means good someone say good come on this month is rooted from tov which is good which means the Lord is 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 rooting this month in the goodness of God this month of January which in Hebrew is Tevet this is going to be a month of the goodness of God God is going to grace January with goodness. God is going to uh, grace this month of Tevet with the toves of God, which is the goodness of the Holy Spirit. Do you know how, God, how good our God is? Do you know the goodness of God? Have you experienced the goodness of the Holy Spirit? I'm telling you, every single day of this month of January of Tevet, T-E-V-E-T. -E -E You're going to experience the rooting of the goodness of God. Come on. The word of God is good. When I heard it, it was good. When I heard it, it was sweet to my mouth. I, I ate the word and it was sweet like a honeycomb. Rabo Shaba, in this month of January, he's going to dip you in goodness. Surely goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of January. If you believe it, say amen. This is going to be a month of goodness, okay? And I know a lot of people, even myself, I got in a car accident. I almost died four days ago. But the devil's a liar and Jesus is king and God is good. The goodness of God is going to override the, the evils and the wicked wiles of the enemy. Rabba, Baba, come on. The, the goodness of God is going to overcome. The goodness of God is going to take over. All right, it's, it's just going to be unfair. And listen, the goodness of God is the grace of God, which is uncommon, which is unusual, which is not fair. Okay, I'm telling you guys, favor is not fair. Okay, and, and that's why you go through the warfare or you go through the things that you've gone through because the favor of God on your life is preparing a table before you and your enemies. So 
uh, Tevet this month. Tevet, which is rooted in Tov, T-O-V, is the goodness of God. So let's say, I receive the abounding goodness of my Heavenly Father in this month of Tevet, in Jesus' name. Someone say amen, okay? And also, um, if you study the month of Tevet, thank you for everybody watching now, do give us some hearts and likes and share. All right, bang, bang, bang. Rabo, <clears throat> also in this month of Tevet, it's so interesting because on the 10th of Tevet, someone say the 10th, okay? On the 10th day of this Jewish month, Tevet, which is actually going to be, um, I believe, the 7th or the 8th next week, not this coming week, but next week. On the 10th of Tevet, it's a day of fasting for the Jewish people. Now, let me tell you why and how this is so important. Shoot, it's a day of fasting because on that day, the Jews will remember, someone said remember, the Jews will remember about the temple of Jerusalem that was siege. And I'm telling you these prophetic historical insights because I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. I'm extracting. When you study the past and when you open up uh, the word of, of his of his word and of his history and you open it up and then you can begin to extract prophetic points and powerful insights to launch you and to lunge you into the future and to, into the now so I'm say amen so um the tenth of Tevet which is going to be the seventh eighth I believe it's a day of fasting for the Jews and I don't know about you but for me I'm going to begin a 21-day fast uh, on Wednesday. Okay, I'm beginning a 21-day fast. Uh, our ministry, we are doing 21 days of consecration. And, um, you know, uh, I encourage you, join us. All right, 21 days of consecration. I know many people start the new year with fasting, with prayer, with consecration, setting apart. And our whole ministry uh, you know, locally and globally, we're doing 21 days of consecration where we are intentionally setting our face like flints before the Lord and we're seeking Him and we're, we're dedicating the, uh, the beginning of this year to Jesus. So we will fast for it. Someone say, I am fast for So on the 10th of Tevet, it's, it's, a, it's a day of fasting for the Jews. Really because, you have to hear this, really because they are remembering the temple that was sieged they're remembering the temple of jerusalem that was taken from them so therefore they're fasting on the tenth of tibet in mourning but yet an expectation for the retrieval an expectation for an empowerment for god to give back their temple god is going to give you your temple back God is going to give you your temple back. Someone say amen. God is going to give you your temple back. And I, I want to say one more thing. I'm giving you four prophetic insights um, from the month of Tevet. And then I'm going to give you three prophetic points of what to expect for this month. Amen. Um, the third prophetic insight is that uh, this is the same month where Esther, Queen Esther, came before King Ahasuerus. This is the same month where Queen Esther came before the king. The Lord is bringing you before the king in this month. Amen. This is going to be a good month. I'm telling you, it's going to be a good month. The Lord is bringing you before the king in this month. Fourth prophetic point, excuse me, fourth prophetic insight I want to bring to you is that it's still Hanukkah. All right, um, this is a month, Tevet is a month where the menorah of Hanukkah is still lit, which the Jews and the scholars, the, the, the rabbis say, um, the menorah, which is the lighting of the goodness of God, which is the light of his menorah, of his candle, of his lamp, is, is overflowing, it's tipping over, it is crossing over into this month. Okay, God is shining the light of His face in this month. Hanukkah is still continuing in this month of Tevet, in this new year. Come on, all right? Rabababa. So the Lord is going to light your candles, is going to increase your circumference of vision and of, 
of, of light so that you will see clearly. Okay, he's he's overflowing. All right. So I want to give you those points here. If you're enjoying this so far, give me some hearts and likes. Someone say amen. Someone say I receive. Okay. And do share right now as I'm going to go into my three prophetic points of what you should expect and what will happen for you in this month. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So I want to give you three words for this month of January. Okay. It is going to be 2020. Of course, you know, I've given so many words about the, the year and the decade of establishment, the year of the mouth, the year of the king's decree, the year of trumpets, the year of power, the year of establishment. The church of Jesus Christ is here to stay. Very quickly, I want to tell you, 2020 is the year of all years. It's the fight of all fights. It's the match of all matches. And the decades of the 20 or the 5, 7, 80s in the Hebrew calendar, this is the decade of all decades, okay? And I believe Tevet, in this month of January, Tov, he's going to light you up with the goodness of God, all right? Amen? So I, I want to start off with this prophetic point. In this month of January, it's going to be a month of reset. Someone say reset. Someone say, Jesus is resetting my life. Someone say, Jesus is resetting my prayer life, all right? This month of January is a divine month of reset. And let me tell you why uh, it's a month of reset for you. Because the Lord, uh, the the Lord, as, as the Jewish people would fast on the 10th of Tibet, fasting resets your spirit. Fasting resets uh, and aligns your mind and aligns uh, your focus, okay? And I want to tell you this. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16, this is my, my uh, verse, my scripture for you for this month. Okay, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. All right, this talks about redeeming the times because you know that the days are evil. Redeeming, and of course that word redeeming is opportune time, which in the Greek is kairos, okay? January is going to be filled with kairos moments and kairos opportunities. January is going to be filled with Kairos aligned alignment. All right, the Lord is aligning you in this month of January, which means that there's Kairos activity, there is Kairos movement. All right, like a chiropractor that adjusts your spine and your vertebrae. The Lord is aligning your relationships this month, He's aligning your friendships, He's aligning your finances. Come on, things are coming into alignment for your favor. Blessings, opportunities, promotions, job opportunities, new moments, come on, uh, new uh, relationships, come on. The Lord is aligning things for your favor. And in this month, the Lord is aligning your schedule, your calendar for the rest of this year of 2020. So this is a month where God is releasing Kairos now, not tomorrow, not yet, but now opportunities. Someone say amen. So January to that is a month where God is releasing alignment and kairos relationships in your life. All right, he's bringing alignment. And that's why you can expect a divine reset. God is resetting you um, as you uh, uh, as you fast and as you pray and as you start afresh. All right, so in this month, uh, expect kairos moments. Expect angelic visitations. Expect uh, uh, moments where you're going to uh, experience the Lord in such a fresh way. All right, someone say amen. I receive it. Number two, in this month of January and Tibet, you can expect retrieval. Someone say retrieval. All right, this is going to be good. All right, this is getting good here. You can expect retrieval. All right, just like the Jews fast on the 10th of Tibet in expectation to retrieve the temple that was taken away from them. This month in January, you're going to retrieve your stolen items. You're going to retrieve your sanity. You're going to retrieve, come on, Rabo, as you get a reset which is a divine turnaround, you're going to start again. You're going to have a fresh start. And as you have a reset, 
you're going to retrieve the things that the enemy took away from you. This month of January, God's giving you power to retrieve. God's giving you power to take back. God's giving you power to plunder. In this month of January, you're going to retrieve as you set your face before the Lord and fast and pray and consecrate and dedicate this month of January. You're going to retrieve in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say amen. I declare, I decree right now that the Holy Spirit is anointing you to retrieve. Just like Queen Esther in this month of Tevet, Queen Esther came before the king. In this, in this month of Tevet, Queen Esther came before King Ahasuerus, which means that God's bringing you before kings. God's bringing you before people of influence, affluence, governors, kings, princes, millionaires, billionaires, divine people of peace. Uh, persons of peace that's going to open up doors of favor for you. So as Queen Esther was brought before King Ahasuerus, eventually the Jewish people were retrieved back. Amen? Someone say amen. So God is going to give you an anointing and a grace for you to retrieve everything that's been taken and stolen in 2019. And this month, there's an open window, a Kairos heavens. There's an open heavens for you to retrieve. In Jesus' name, if you're receiving, say amen. All right, if you believe it, say amen. If you believe it, you miss some hearts and lights and do share. And the last prophetic point that I want to share with you today for you to expect <laughs> in this month of January is revive. Someone say revive. I'm telling you this month, guys, you're going to experience the power of Jesus like never before. You're going to experience the enlightenment and the empowerment of the anointing in your life like never before. God is going to anoint you so fresh, so strong. His nearness is going to be your gird. His, literally, He's going to clothe you with his glory. Okay, this month of January of Tevet, remember the root word is Tov, goodness, good. In this month of January, you're going to experience a revival. You're going to be revived again. If this bears witness with your spirit, say amen. <clears throat> the dead things are coming alive again. The dead dreams are coming alive again. The dead opportunities are coming alive again. In this month of January, the goodness of God is going to release resurrection power. Okay? Dead raising power. Okay? What did Jesus say? This girl is not dead, but she is only sleeping. Awake, awake, oh sleeper. So in this month, he's awakening the giant that's inside of you. He's awakening the giants out of the caves. And in this month of January, Tevet, he's reviving a fresh wind, a new wind, a new gust of angelic hosts, a new ghost, a gust of angelic winds. Acts chapter 2. Winds came rushing into the upper room. That type of power, that type of visitation, that type of revival, of awakening power. All right, he is releasing revival power, dead raising resurrection power in this month of January. If you, if you bear, if you expect it, if you receive it, say amen. And let me tell you how I'm getting this prophetic unction. Because it's still Hanukkah. As we have entered into this new month of Tevet in Hebrew, T-E-V-E-T. -E -E as we've entered into this new month of January, it is still Hanukkah. In fact, uh, the first few days of this month is still Hanukkah. Which means that the menorah lampstand is still lit. Which means that it's still a supernatural time and holiday festival of the of the power of God of the Maccabees destroying the Assyrian enemies of our soul which means when the lampstand is shining 
It means that there's revival. It means that there's a rekindling of the fires of first love. It means that there's a rekindling. Come on, rekindle the fires of love in me again. Rekindle the fires of first love inside of my heart again. He is igniting. He is reviving. He is rekindling the fires of first love. The menorah lampstand. Pure light. Pure oil. Pure vision. Come on now. Pure vision. Pure oil. In the month of January, which is revival, let the revival fires of Jesus, let it burn bright, let it burn strong, in the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm going to say amen. If this bears witness with you, I want you to like, I want you to share. Share, share, share. Now listen, uh, I'm, I'm about to close in prayer here. I'm excited for this new month of January. The goodness of God is going to grace you. God's going to bring you before kings like Queen Esther. God's going to uh, empower you to retrieve. Okay? Rama, Mama. There's going to be Kairos moments and opportunities and relationships coming to you this month in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. Now, I, I want to uh, tell you we're doing something new here. Before I pray, I want to make an announcement. We're doing something new here. Um, we have uh, new products here. Okay, we have new products. And uh, we just posted it here. Um, uh -huh. We have new products and we just posted it here. And um, you guys can receive um, a limited edition BLM, Ben Lim Ministries uh, uh, product today, okay, as you, uh, as you're watching now on the replay, you can receive, and, and we want to give you a promo code, I don't know if somebody from our team is, uh, is putting it now, but we want to give you a promo code for our new products that we're launching now and today, okay, um, the promo code for 15% off is BAMFAM2020. Okay, BAMFAM2020. So go ahead, just click on the link and check it out. Check out uh, any product that might interest you. It's good. It's, it's not cheap. It's not lame. It's good stuff. So go and, and check it out. Okay. Go and check it out. Praise God. Go and check it out. And you will be blessed. I promise you. You will be blessed. Amen. Good to see you, Julianne. Blessings to you. And so before I pray for you, I, I also want to invite you to sow if you feel led to give. You know, this is a real important time in this year. Um, you know, as we're about to enter into the new year and as we're about to enter into a new month um, as we're about to enter into a new month as we're about to enter into the new year uh, we are in a new month Tevet already in Hebrew we're about to enter into the new month of January but I want you to sow into this word I want if you're blessed by this I want you to sow into this word Okay, uh, we invite you to sow into this word, and you can sow by going into our website. Get ready, get ready, get ready, because our new website is going to be launched very soon. I'm excited for that. All right, get ready, get ready, get ready, because our new website is going to be launched very soon. All right, I want you guys to sow. I open it up, invitation, as the Holy Spirit leads you. I want to pray with you today. Father, I thank you for all my friends and family watching today. I thank you for the goodness of God that's going to align you this month in Tevet in January. For the goodness of God that's going to align you and mark you in this month of January. It's a month of resetting. It's a month of retrieval. And it is a month of revival. God is rekindling revival fires and flames in your life in this month. You're going to retrieve the stolen items. You're going to retrieve the things that were taken away from you, that you thought you lost, that you thought was dead, is going to be raised back. The dead dreams, dead hopes, dead visions. And also, in this new year, the Lord is anointing you to 
in this new month, he's anointing you to have a divine reset. It's a fresh start. It's a new beginning. It's Cairo's opportune times and moments for you in this month of January. He's aligning you, Kairos. It's a Kairos month of favor. God bless you guys. I love you. Thanks for watching. And do like, do share. And what I want you to do, I want you to comment below what spoke to you the most. What ministered to you the most. And also, do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Benlam Global. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Benlam Global, to follow all the latest teachings and uh, prophetic impartations and revival uh, moments. I love you guys. Bless you. Happy January. Happy New Year. Happy Tavet. Chag Sameach. Expect great things from God. Blessings to you. Thanks for watching.